everyone and welcome. My name is Melissa Armo and I own the Stock Swoosh. And today I wanted to do a lecture for you of how to get and stay motivated as a trader. This is a great lecture. Why? Because it's the start of earnings season this week for July, this quarter, and I'm telling you there's going to be a lot of action in the market as well. So not only is it earnings season, July is going to be a big month for the U.S. stock market because there's so much news and activities coming up. And so it's really going to be a month that you'd want to trade. So let's talk about how to start. Let's talk about how to get motivated. And not only that, how to stay motivated. Because let me tell you, you will make more money and you will be more successful if you are more motivated. So if you have any questions, you can email me at info at the stock .com, And feel free to go to my YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, or any of these places and like me and follow me there. So let's talk about the stock market. Have you ever traded the U.S. stock market? Well, if you've thought about it and haven't done it, maybe now's a time for you to start, a good time for you to start because it's the busy season during earnings season. So the stock market is wonderful because it's accessible to everyone, everywhere, from any walk of life to trade it and make money. All you need is to open up a brokerage account. You need a strategy to be successful to do it. A strategy is going to tell you what direction to take the stock and which stock to trade every day. And that's what I teach in my class called The Golden Gap. So why doesn't everyone train then successfully? Why? What is it that they're missing? They don't have a focus. They don't know what to do. And that's what you come and learn from me. And you really have to have a structure. It's a, it's a structure. It's a system. I'm a very structured person. I, I find that helps me to be successful. I have a set time of wake up each morning where I exercise every day. All of those things. Structure really helps you uh, be more organized and then it relaxes your mind. And you can think clearer and you can make better decisions. And that's one of the most important things about trading because when you're risking money, you want to be able to make clear decisions, specifically about risk, about where you're taking the trades and where you're getting out. But really, a lot of people are just not motivated. So one reason people are, are not successful as a strategy, but another big one is they're just not motivated. They have a negative attitude or they fail to stay motivated. And to be honest with you, motivation takes work. I mean, it just does. Like anything you're doing in life, you can't w expect yourself to literally wake up and 24 hours a day be positive. Everybody gets down sometimes. So you have to learn when you get down or when you start to think negative, how to lift yourself up out of that dirt and get back up into feeling good about yourself and what you're doing and following and pursuing your dreams. So I hate to tell you, but motivation takes work. It takes thinking. It takes brain power, it takes energy, reading books, listening to lectures or webinars or classes like my wealth manifestation class, uh, listening to this lecture here tonight. A lot of things that you do, you can just do to help yourself to dig deep down within yourself because you really have all the motivation inside yourself. It's just not every second of every day are you going there and digging deep enough to pull it out of you to use it for your own benefit, which in the case of trading is obviously to make money. So what is motivation? It's the act or an instance of motivating or providing a reason to act in a certain way. And really the reasoning is, is one of the critical things in my system. So the state or condition of being motivated or something that motivates inducement incentive. Like what's your incentive for trading? Well, obviously your incentive is to make money, but it also might be your incentive to make money trading might really be what? So that you can have a better life. That might really be the real goal, you're, you're, the money is getting you to the real goal, which is that you want to have a better quality of life and money can help you have that or achieve that. If you can spend more money or more time with your kids or friends or family or do more things where you don't have to work maybe 50, 60 hours a week, okay, which a lot of people do at jobs. Some people are working full-time jobs, part-time jobs, multiple jobs, and they're struggling. So it seems like the motivation is money, but yet there's usually another piece and it's a better quality of life. Maybe having a more luxurious life or maybe just having more time for yourself because the U.S. market is only open from 9.30 to 4. Even if you trade all day, which I don't, but even if you did, it's only a six and a half hour day. And a lot of people are working way, way, way more than that. So who or what gets you motivated to trade? Well, number one, friends, family. Okay, that's a big one maybe a teacher, someone like me, a book, you could read a book and pff, all of a sudden just something snaps in your head and say, oh, there it is. I knew that's why I was doing this. And it reminds you. And I'm not talking about trading books. I mean, there's a million books out there that can get you motivated to trade that don't have anything to do with trading. In fact, 
I have never read one uh, motivational book about trading. I mean, I have, but they weren't motivating to me. <laughs> they were more about people's negative experiences and I didn't find them motivating. So I will tell you that uh, most of the good books that are out there that you will that you will find that will help you motivate yourself to be a better trader have absolutely nothing to do with trading the market. And that's just a tip. Maybe someday I'll get around to, to writing the real kind of book that I wished I could have read about the market and motivating, but there really wasn't any anything out there like that. I mean, they're, the ones that I picked up that are out there that I'm sure you, most of you have heard of, I thought were just very base books and really didn't do it for me. Didn't capture that essence. It didn't, didn't have that soul from this. Didn't have that thing that just touched me to make me want to push through the hard times and people need that. So what else might motivate you in experience? Something that you do, something that happens, something with trading, something else. Uh, the market itself, if you've ever traded and pulled money from the market, it's a high, especially if you have a good day, especially if you have what I call a comma day where you make $1,000 or more. Those, those pivotal days in the market when you first reach that point is really exciting. Money obviously motivates you, and not only that, yourself. You can motivate yourself if you're ambitious, this, all of this helps. And guess what helps to keep you motivated? All these same things. So they get you motivated, they stay motivated, they keep you motivated, okay? All of these things all together, working together in an ideal world, you have all of them, okay? So you use whatever resources you can to get yourself motivated to trade each and every day and each week. And having a good support system really is key. Whether it's a mentor like me, if you're in the live trading room with me daily, or I don't know, somebody else, you really have to have a good support system. Even a spouse, a girlfriend, a boyfriend, a training room also that has a positive influence on you and can keep you motivated and stay motivated, which is what my room does that. Having dreams can be motivational. You know, I've always had a lot of dreams. I've always pushed forward to succeed in my dreams, making them come true. And I've had some big, big dreams I do right now. You just gotta keep going, you know? And the bigger the dreams, the more motivated you have to be. So how do you stay motivated? Well, the same things that got you motivated in the beginning can keep you motivated. When you need motivation, you have to look at the bigger picture. Where are you trying to go with this goal? You want to do this for a career, part-time income? You hate your job? Why? What? Making money trading is about the bigger picture. And there are 200 plus trading days at the end of the year. In the whole year, you can't just focus so much on one if you have one bad day. And that's why you can't take terrible trades all day long and lose your account. You have to conceptualize it, think of it, think of the bigger picture. And I'm not talking about 10 years from now, I'm just talking about a, a month, a week, a year, you know, whatever is gonna help you visualize it. But being in the stock switch training with me really helps people get motivated and that's why I've closed it off to students so I can do proprietary teaching in the room. It's very helpful. It helps people stay motivated and keep them motivated. And you've gotta be patient. This is a tough one. This is a tough one for me personally. It's a tough one for many people too, especially after you reach a certain point as an adult, you think, well, I you know, shouldn't have to be patient anymore and blah, blah, blah. No, it doesn't work like that. Anytime you're doing something new, anytime you're doing something you're not an expert, anytime you're venturing out of your comfort zone, you will have to be patient with yourself and take the knowledge and experience and the maturity you have wherever you're at with your life, whatever age you are, and learn from that and say, you know what, I know that I may have to be a little patient with myself, but maybe I'll get ahead faster if I am. If I am patient with myself and I don't roll right over myself and criticize myself too much, because it's a self-criticism. The self-criticism is the worst and traders, traders do so much of that and you just gotta forgive yourself and be more patient with yourself. It also takes courage to trade every day. Courage to get up and do it, to get up the next day after you have a losing day, to keep going, to, to take a class like mine if you've lost money in the market or lost money in classes. Believing and knowing and fulfilling your dream that you can do it and you can move ahead and find something better, which my system is. You ha it takes courage. It really does. I totally, totally get that. But you're gonna find that inside of you. And the only way to proceed to, to, to achieve success in the market if you failed up until this point, is to have courage to proceed, to keep going, not even knowing exactly when you're gonna make it, exactly when you're gonna have all the money that you want, exactly when everything's gonna click, okay? Not having any guarantees, that takes courage. It's the courage to risk your own money in the market. It's the courage to take the time out of your life to do it. It's the courage to better yourself, to better your circumstances, to better your life, to fulfill your own dreams, to keep striving towards those dreams, even if you feel frustrated that you haven't achieved them yet because you've been trying to achieve them for years, but you've been down the wrong road. And that is very important. You gotta get on the right road. Okay, when I started out, for example, on television, I started out on a completely wrong road. I didn't know it at the time, but I did. 
And then at some point during that first year, I realized that I had started on the wrong road. And then I was another road, another road, another road. And, you just, and all of a sudden, eventually you find yourself on the right road. And that may not even be the road that takes you to the end. It may just veer off to another way. And this is how it is. And that's why you have to keep going. You're navigating all along, but everybody starts out differently and you may start off on a bad road. Don't beat yourself up about it. At least you started. And if, even if you start on the bad road, eventually you'll find the good road. The road that's gonna take you to the success that you want, whatever it happens to be, okay? So it takes courage to learn something new. It takes courage to get up and trade the next day when you lost the day before. But you gotta do this. You must do it when you're learning and you have to have something I call amnesia. Now, amnesia is a loss of a large block of interrelated memories, complete or partial loss of memory caused by brain injury shock. Okay, so, you know, amnesia. What if we gonna, this is like one of these things you say, ugh, I don't wanna forget something that happened to me, but sometimes it's good to forget the bad stuff. If you are hanging on and hanging on and hanging on for dear life to the bad stuff, guess what? You're gonna keep reliving those memories over and over again. And you're never gonna push through and start realizing, oh my gosh, things are actually working now. I can actually find a system that works. I actually can make money from the market consistently. I mean, and then all of a sudden, all these doors wide open for you and you see the possibilities. But if you keep thinking about the past and things that happen and don't have amnesia about those bad memories, then you will relive them over and over again. And it's, you're just gonna, it's just like you're working against yourself is the point. So you gotta be strong, push forward and move forward and don't think about the bad stuff. Okay, very good. This is really important, people. So what to do when things don't work right? What if you take a trade and it, and it fails? And you know it's going to work the next time. And you saw everything so clearly. And it didn't work out. And you're stuck in this trade. And you say, gosh, I'm going to have to take a loss. There's nothing I can do. Is it your fault? No. It's not your fault when things don't work right. Sometimes trades don't work. Every once in a while, a trade will not work. Period. End of story. That's just the market. And I think that's, that's, a, that's a big part of what people just struggle with. But if you think about it, common sense, it just doesn't make sense that every single solitary thing would work. You, you know that at, at some point, something will not work. And so therefore, again, it just goes to the common sense. And the common sense tells you, wait a minute, you know, every once in a while, something is gonna work out and there's not gonna be a reason. And it's not the market's fault when it doesn't work out either. It's not anyone or anything's fault. It's just life, it's just trading, it's just the market. And you have to accept that about this. But you have to have a system still that works more than it doesn't. My system has an 80% win ratio. So out of every 10 trades, eight will work, two will fail. And you have to accept that. <laughs> Otherwise you could risk an unlimited amount in every trade you take. You could risk the farm in every trade, but you can't, okay? And that would be stupid. So that there's no common sense of that. You have to understand and assess the risk. So it's just about the fact that the mathematical odds sometimes set up to have plays fail. And that's why you have to learn a strategic way to play them so that if they fail, you only lose a little. And if they work, you make a lot. So don't give up in the market if you don't get a good play every day. Trading and making money trading is about playing the odds correctly in your favor. And if you do this over the course of a month, a week and a year even, you will make money by staying on track with your game plan. So that's what you have to do. What do you do when they do work, right? Well, that's easy. You take the money and you run. You bank it. You stop. You don't trade and give it back. Don't start getting lazy. You have to be sharp every day. Get enough sleep. Have breakfast in the morning. Don't be complacent. You have to be disciplined. Don't get lazy even if everything's working good and you're on a hot streak. And speaking of hot streaks, 2018 has been a good year. And now it's earning season. It's just starting this week. It's a great time. A great time to make money and a good time to really reassess your risk. Should you be risking more? Maybe you should risk less. What, what are you gonna do to get ahead in July and August? Because this is earning season time. Between now and Labor Day, boom, okay? This is the time to make money. What are you gonna do? How are you gonna improve? Because you really have to think about it. You Take advantage of this season. Take advantage of this time. Don't let it go to waste. You only have one chance for July, for August, for this quarter, earnings season 2018 to make money right now, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna take this opportunity and learn how to do it from me? Or are you gonna try to figure it out on your own and waste time figuring it out and not get anywhere? Don't waste time. If, if you could put a price on time, I'm telling you, I, I've 
more than ever this year, I've realized that time is important, and mainly because I've had a lack of sleep. I've had less sleep because I've been doing television, and the, some of the hours have been brutal, brutal. And now I really appreciate my time more than ever before. I mean, I've always been a busy person, but it's at this point, this year it's been even astronomically more so, and I will tell you that time is essential and it's very important. So wasting time is not a good idea. Don't waste time. If you could fast forward into 20, 20, 2018, 2019, 2020, and see that you could do this now and how successful you'd be in six to 12 months, two years from now, you wouldn't hesitate at all. So see that, envision that, envision that for yourself in the future so you can get there. Make the money now, don't wait. So I know, you know, a lot of people are out there and they want the big one, okay? You have to look for quality, quality setups and quality traits. And I focus on gaps, but you know, you gotta wait for the really good quality traits. So specifically, if you're gonna take risk, that's why I like to do one thing a day, okay? And that's one thing that makes my rating system so great because it pinpoints and narrows it down. Because if I have five things, I go with the highest rated, Okay, and you gotta keep yourself under control. Stay motivated so you don't miss the good ones. Don't blow up your account. Stay active, okay? Be conscious, don't risk too much money when you're trading. Don't get caught up in the negativity so that you don't miss good opportunities when they're there, whether it's trades or even taking a class like mine. Don't piss away money in stupid classes that are cheaper and you don't learn anything from them, okay? And you people out there know you know because some of you have been talking for six years and you wish that you had done the class years and years ago so I mean I'm trying to give you people the best advice that I possibly can the things that I'm saying a lot of it is common sense and I don't know why but traders seem to lack common sense in general I'm completely generalizing here but a lot of them do and I think I think that it's because people just they want to believe the impossible for some unknown reason people want to believe these mythical impossible things that don't make any sense and i don't think that that is the way to success okay it's one thing to have dreams it's one thing to have ideals but you still have to have to have a practical game plan to get there uh, if that makes any sense so don't get tripped up by the moves of the market okay keep the faith keep the focus keep the faith now this here is a slide, and I, and I talk about this in the trading room, I say be the monk. Be like a monk, be focused, focus on what you're doing. Focus, 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 focus on one strategy, one system, one stock a day, one setup, one trade at a time, one directional bias. Have your eye in the ball with what you're doing. Don't be all over the place. Just focus on what you're doing in the moment, okay? And that's how you can do really, really well. Visualize your own success each day. Have clarity. Know why you're doing this, know what your goals are, know the purpose. And all I can say is, you know, you are the one that has got to keep yourself going. It's easy to do it when things are going great, but it's hard when things are stuck or when they're going bad. And quite frankly, it's hard. It's I would say it's equally hard. It's hard to keep going when things are bad, but it's hard to keep going when you're stuck too. Because when you're stuck, you're really not going anywhere either. And so many people actually are stuck with their trading. They are not making money. They're losing a little, making a little, losing a little. They don't know what they're doing. They don't know how to get, move forward or make money. They don't want to commit to a program. They're kind of just stuck. They're at the same place now they were six months ago, a year ago in 2016. I mean, that is the worst place to be. Don't stay stuck for too long because you're going to miss out on life. And in fact, you are. You're missing out on life. You're missing out on the market. And you're going to miss out on earnings season this quarter if you don't get your butt moving and figure out what to do. So I'm doing a class. It's July 20th and 21st. If you're interested for this quarter for the earnings season to get going, you really should have, should have a strategy, should have a system from have a program. Don't deviate. I focus on gaps. This is CAG. So I'm sure this is back from like it was the 27th here of June. Stock closed here, gap down, fell. This is a really good short. Never thought in a million years it would go to this number. Huge short of there. More than $2 move in the day, okay? Ultimately, think about what I said tonight. You will need to persevere through the hard times when they come with trading, but you can make it easy for yourself by just sticking with what you're doing and being patient and following a mentor like me. 
Training is about consistency and longevity. If you want to have longevity, you need to produce consistent results. And if you want to produce consistent results, you must stick to the plan. And you must stay consistent with your training strategy. Okay? Think. Think about what I'm saying here. So how are you going to be successful if you give up? After one setback, two, three, four, or any setbacks at all, success means removing the blockages towards your success and not allowing setbacks to guide your decisions. They were not present when you made the choice to train, and so the setbacks were not present when you were getting motivated. Success does not come without taking a risk and making effort. And sometimes it also costs money, and it usually does. So that's the effort too, and that's part of the risk as well. Part of the effort means continuing to move forward and to stay positive when you're tested in your trading. And if there was no risk involved in trading in life, everyone would be successful. And it clearly is not that way, okay? And you know what I mean. This is a great slide. Uh, this is a great slide. So you have the mouse here. He's going for it. He's prepared. He has assessed the risk. He's rated the gap. Uh, he's put the stop in, in the trade. He's got his helmet on. He's going for the cheese. The cheese is the money. Hopefully he will be quick enough to get the cheese before this goes over and he will be safe with the helmet as well. So you see the picture here. It's, he's willing to take the risk. He's done the protectionary measures. That's all that he can do. When you choose to go into the market and you don't have a set structure, a system, or a strategy to follow, then you're taking risk without a helmet. You're going to get the cheese, which is the money, without a helmet at all. So, I mean, that's another important factor. And one of the reasons why, you know, number one, taking my class is important, but then following the calls I do in the room, okay? All of that is like the helmet protecting you to get the money or the cheese. All right? So trading, trading is about power. The power of the market and the power of the gap. Love gaps. The power of the golden gap system, which is the system I created. The power of conviction. The power of the information, the information that I know, and the skill that you learn from me. The power of knowledge, the power of you. The power of me, the power of me to even teach you, okay? I'm grateful for that. So a lot of it though really comes down to the power of the human spirit. And the power of the human spirit is the power within you, which you have and I have my own too. You are the one with the power. I'm the one with my own power. Your human spirit is so powerful. You have the power within yourself to follow a disciplined trading plan Make money in the market and keep yourself motivated during personal setbacks, of which you will have, but you can overcome them. And that is part of your personal power, knowing that you will overcome them, okay, and believing so. Uh, even if you've had hard financial times, even if you've had trouble getting together the money for a trading account or to take my class, believe that you will. Find a way. People often do when they're motivated to do so. They pull the self-power within themselves and get it together instead of being felt like they're out of control with their lives. Do not feel like your life is out of your control. It's not. It's within your own control. You can control your destiny by making a choice in your spirit not to allow anything to stand in the way of your trading success. So, you know, I want to talk a little bit here about intention. Again, it's setting out what you want and very clearly, okay, which I do every day or most days. When you have a clear vision, a clear intention, and a plan of action in place, you can use the power of intention to assist you in creating the trading results you desire. Get clear. Intention only works with complete clarity and focus, okay? I mean, for, to get the result you want. Focus on one or two stocks. Focus on one strategy. Focus by being in a stock switch trading room and doing my class, learning my method, listen to me. All of these things will help you get and stay clear and motivated. Clarity is important. And think about what I said, this summer could be amazing for you. If you need a plan of action, then I'm here. The plan of action really is my class. You take the class, you join the live trading room, you take the calls. You need a proven strategy and a system that works in order to make money trading. And you absolutely must follow this plan to achieve success. Uh, and you really can't deviate for it, from it. So my class is called the Golden Gap Course. It is professional bearish gap system. The cost of the class is $54.99. If you're interested, email me at melissathestockswish.com for upcoming class dates. The next class is July 20th and 21st. Remember, when you choose to come to me, you're taking a course. It's an old-fashioned class where you'll listen, and I will teach through a PowerPoint slide. It's online. You can be anywhere in the world and take it. And remember, education is a gift you give to yourself. Then you have the knowledge. You have the information. There's power in that because it's going to help you make good decisions in the market. And if you want to join the live trading room, the Stock Switch trading room has good results. It's 8.30 to usually about 11. 
Sometimes we close earlier if we're done. Uh, the room is $400 a month for students only. And if you want to sign up for the year, it's 30% off and you get the Wealth Manifestation class free. It's a very focused trading room that plays gaps based on technical analysis on my 26 points. And that's what you learn in the course. So thank you everyone for listening. You can watch me on Fox News and Fox Business Network as well. If you have any questions, reach out to me. I hope everyone has a great day and I hope you learned a lot from this lecture.